Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to start the deployment of machine learning model playlist. And uh, this particular playlist, uh, I mean this particular uh, session was requested by many of you. So uh, I'll be making around 10 to 15 videos on it where I'll show you how to create web services with the help of Flask and how to deploy that in particular cloud. Now when I say cloud, I'm basically talking about servers, you know, live servers where it is running, it may be running in the cloud, it may be running in your local premises anywhere. So before understanding that, we need to understand different types of servers, okay, and how they are basically provided. One, the first thing is that you can, you can basically create a server on premises. On premises basically means you have your office, you set up the complete server, you, you take care part, you uh, take care the part of the application, part of the data, you take care of the runtime, middleware, operating system, servers, and a lot of stuffs. Okay, so this basically means that you are taking care care of the complete server in your own premises. The second technique is something called as infrastructure as a service. Let me just give you some of the example of which type of cloud platform provides us infrastructure as a service. The most famous platform is basically AWS, and the other one is Azure. Now, in this the work will be divided between the AWS people and the company people. So what happens is that the application part, data part, runtime part, operating system part will be taken care by us. That basically means whenever they are providing this infrastructure of that, what we do is that while we are creating the cloud environment over there, we need to tell which operating system I want. What is the runtime of that operating system? The application that we are creating, how do we deploy that application? This all part, the application part will be, uh, you know, will be will be having the responsibility to create it. The data part also, it will be having the responsibility to create it. So whenever you want to create a cloud instance deployment, so basically an instance in the cloud of AWS, or which is just like an infrastructure as a service, you need to select what is the runtime and what is the operating system that you have to basically run your whole code into, run your application into. The other things like, the server, storage, networking, or, uh, and other details will basically be handled by the AWS itself. So this all completely will be handled by AWS. This completely ha has to be handled by us, who are the developers working for a specific company. Okay. Now the third part, which is called as platform as a service. This is the most interesting part. All these things that is like runtime, operating system, server, storage, networking, everything will be handled by the uh, the by the platform as a service by the company who's providing this particular feature as platform as a service okay only some of the features like the application and the data part that basically means i'm creating a machine learning model i have the data only this part i have to basically take care of i take this particular application data deploy it in uh, some kind of repository and from that repository i if i push into this platform as a service this will automatically run. I don't have to worry about what runtime I have to select, what operating system I have to select, how scalability I have to make, you know. So it will automatically be scaled up and based on the scaling factor, it will cost, it will charge you. Okay. So I'm going to basically discuss this two part, how we can actually create a machine learning model and deploy that model in infrastructure as a service. So for this, I'm going to take an example of AWS EC2 instance. I'm going to take an example of AWS EC2 instance. For platform as a service, I'm going to take an example of Heroku. Heroku. So this two platform I'm going to consider. Apart from this, in this particular playlist, I'm also going to take care of uh, Docker, Kubernetes, how you can basically run your machine learning models in Docker and Kubernetes and considering this particular platform. So after this all things gets completed, I'll also be showing you how we can do CI CD deployment, continuous integration and continuous deployment. Okay, so wherein you are actually committing your code in some repository and then by just a click of button that automatically gets deployed in your platform as a service or in or the infrastructure as a service. So I'm going to cover AWS, Azure, EC2 instance, platform as a service, I'm going to take an example of Heroku I'm also going to cover Docker and Kubernetes. So this particular playlist will be a long playlist where I'll be uploading more than 10 to 15 videos. And that will be done all practically. I'll show you how we can basically open the environment code, code each and every line of code. And for this, I'll also be, the main thing is that how I'm going to create my web services, I'm going to use the framework called as Flask. Okay, so Flask is a very commonly used framework and that framework can be deployed into any of these clouds. 
okay now some of the examples of on premises is that you have seen some of the banks many banks usually create the servers in their own premises they handle all these things they have developers for them they handle the application part data part runtime part middle pair operating system and servers whereas in the case of infrastructure as service it is divided between the company and the cloud services whichever company is basically providing and over here you are just handling the application and data part remaining everything will be handled whoever is providing as a platform as a service now this was this is very important to understand the difference between infrastructure as a service and platform as a service this is also asked as many interview questions whenever you are doing with respect to deployment where did you deploy why did you use platform as a service you should know why what is the exact difference and how you basically were able to deploy it and many more and that is a very critical part to become a data scientist if you are more than 5 to 6 years of experience you should know how to do the uh, uh, you know the model deployment itself so this was all about this videos i'm going to upload a lot of videos please make sure you subscribe the channel uh, play, hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload videos you'll get the notification share with all your friends whoever require this kind of help i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you